Hello students. Today we are going to start with the power. What is power sharing? Why power sharing desirable? And different power types of power sharing in the modern democracies. In this, with this, we'll come to end of this lesson. I've given you revision questions at the end, so do revise the questions. Power sharing. Is power sharing desirable? Students, we have two sets of reason for this. One is prudential reason. Next is moral reason. What are the prudential reason of having power sharing? Prudential reason. It stresses that power shall bring out better outcomes. Power sharing is a go is good because it helps to reduce the possibility of conflict between social groups. Since social conflict often leads to violence and political instability, power sharing is good way to ensure the stability of the political order. Imposing the will of majority community over others may look like an attractive option in the short run, but in the long run, it undermines the unity of the nation. Now, let us come to the moral reason. Moral reason emphasizes that every act of power sharing is valuable. Power sharing is a very spirit of democracy. People have a right to be consulted how they are to be governed. Legitimate government is one where citizens through participation acquire a state in the system. It also emphasizes on decentralization of powers. Then, from where did the idea of power sharing emerged? The idea of power sharing has emerged in the opposition of the, of the nations of, in, uh, of undivided political power. Now, power sharing is an essential idea of democracy. It promotes the following values. It helps in reducing the possibility of conflicts between social groups. It ensures stability of political order. It is a very spirit of democracy. Forms of power sharing. In modern democracies, power sharing arrangement can take many forms such as the first one we have is horizontal power sharing. That is power sharing among the different organs of government. In this power is shared among different organs of government such as legislature, executive and judiciary. This is also known as horizontal power sharing because it allows different organs of government placed at the same level to execute different powers. Each organ check the work of others. This system is also known as system of check and balance. For example, the judges are appointed by the executive but they can check the functioning of executive or laws made by the legislature. This arrangement is also called a system of checks and balances. Next we have is a vertical power sharing. That is power sharing among government at different level. Under this, people choose government at different levels that is general government for the entire country and government at provincial and regional level. Such a general government for the entire country is usually called a federal government. Then we have the third that is power sharing among different groups. Power can be shared among different social groups such as the religious and linguistic groups. Community government in Belgium is a good example of this arrangement. In some countries, there are constitutional and legal arrangements whereby social weaker sections, women are represented in the in legislature and the administration. The arrangement gives minority community a fair share of power. Then we come to the fourth and the last segment that is power sharing among political parties, pressure group and movements. In a democracy, citizens must have freedom to choose among the various contenders of different political parties for power. The choice is provided by various political parties who contest election to win them. Such arrangement ensures that the power does not remain in one hand. We also find various interest groups like traders, businessmen, industrialists. They also have influenced decision making process. We also have various movements that have taken place that has influenced the power sharing. So students, as we have come to an end of the lesson, now I am giving you some revision questions which you have to do in your copy. The, there, are, there are around 8 questions. The questions are, describe the ethnic composition of Belgium. Second question, describe any three demands of Sri Lankan Tamils. How did they struggle for their independence? 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री वॉट इज मेजोरिटेरिज्म वॉट वेर द रीजन्स फॉर द एलिनेशन एमंग श्रीलंकन टेमल्स फोर्थ क्वेश्चन वाई इज हॉर्जोंटल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पावर ऑफन रिफर टू आर सिस्टम ऑफ चेक्स एंड बैलेंसेस एक्सप्लेन नंबर फाइव वॉट वैल्यूज हैव यू लर्न फ्रॉम द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पावर शेयरिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स explain the major forms of power sharing in modern democracies then we have question 7 highlight any three measures adopted by the belgium government to accommodate regional and cultural diversity and the last question why is power sharing desirable so we come to the end of the lesson power sharing i have done the lesson along with the revision question so students please revise the questions